Hello, all of you very gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to City Skylines. Oh, that is not good. We have a train traffic jam? Where was that? Um, that's out over here, I think. God, where was that? Um, hello, where was the train traffic jam? Was it over here? Might have been over here. Does traffic show up on train lines? It does. Good. So I just look for red on train lines. Looks like we've got a bit of red there, but it's only because it's busy. Was it over here that that one's happening? It is over here where it's happening. Ooh, my. We've got, like, huge demand for this guy. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. How far back does this back up? Oh man, all the way to this bridge. We have miles of trains here. I mean, that's gotta be like two kilometers. Good news is they're getting in and out really quick, but they just keep coming, don't they? See, if it gets backed up to here, we could wind up with a problem with our commuter trains. Um, there's not really a whole lot I could do about that other than add in a second cargo terminal, but, man, I don't even know where I would put that. I mean, they would prefer this one because it's going to be closer. So, look, fire. Is this on fire? No, this isn't on fire. I mean, there's all the industries down here, so that's going to be the closest one. I would literally have to have one that is, like, here in this residential area for it to be equally favorable. Um, where are these coming from? So, internal, internal, internal. These are all with... Okay, that one's external. And that one's internal, and that one's internal. So they're all coming from other cargo places, bringing cargo over here, because these are all full. And it looks like it's goods, oil, and steel products. Mainly just generic industry goods, though. I mean, and then for some reason, they exported are taking the same things back. This one is 100% just goods. Well, I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on that and uh, hope for the best as this fire rages out of control. Is anybody doing anything about this fire? Yeah, there's, there's helicopters and there's firemen on the ground. It's always something burning in this city. I actually had, uh, while I was getting some screenshots, um... Oh, well, there's no... It looks like the ground is kind of already healed from it, but there was a tornado. Didn't zero damage. It just kind of spun around this area and then went away. Um, but there was a tornado. So these guys are still lacking resources. Paper uh, and flour and... Surprisingly, that's all. And more paper. Which is fine because we plan on doing um, some farm here and uh, some forestry here, and then we can have like a little forest kind of dividing uh, where we're gonna go back to some residential. I meant to open up my spreadsheet before I started playing, and then, well, I forgot. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that up right now. And by the way, you notice the city's suddenly making a ton of cash. It's these guys. These dudes are bringing in so much money. Um, every once in a while we'll dip back down into the red, but it's fairly infrequent. Uh, we, we tend to be pretty set. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, all right. So I see what we need for our farm and it's not a whole lot. Um, so let's see where we can get a farm in here. We probably need to think about another main road as well, coming down and through here. 
uh, and bringing this one around to kind of connect them both. Um, so we're going to kind of do that. What I'm really surprised by is how this has very little traffic. By the way, I did re-enable the mod that allows, that allows me to paint the terrain. Have it finished over here because I still don't have the assets from the workshop to do what I want right here. We're just going to make it look like a dock area. Like this whole area is going to become a dock, like a proper you know, thing. We're even going to bring like the key over to where the road comes out. Um, and just make that look pretty good. So what I'm going to do for now is bring this as far as it'll go. That's most likely not where our intersection is going to go, though. Because what I want to do is, first of all, come back over into here. I want to paint a new industry area. Kind of following this. Oh, my God. I'm painting all outside the lines. Yeah, you know, I wasn't there in school on that day of uh, kindergarten where they taught us how to color inside the lines. So we'll just have to deal with it. And if that triggers anybody, well, you know what, fine. If it triggers somebody, it probably triggers somebody. So here, let's make it better. There, lovely straight line. Though this side's going to be just a blob. Uh, need this one. There we go. Big blob. Big, big blob. And then what we want to do is come in here. Um, we first want to click this button. Get rid of that. Change our brush size. Bring it up a little more. A little less. That's good. And then come back in here to our natural resources so we can see where we're actually painting. And we want to make this all nice fertile ground. Granted, the trees get in the way of that, but we can solve that by getting rid of the trees. Um, which it looks like I'm going to have to do real quick. Here we go. Bye, trees. See you later. Nice knowing you. And then we'll get rid of these rocks that are just chilling here. Cool. And then one last uh, pass with this brush. Fill in some of these areas that stay dark. And that's going to be more than enough space for our farm. So I'm going to build it kind of backwards. Um, I want the crops more out this way and over here if necessary. With the like... Um, we know we need some flour mills and things like that. First things first, though, is we do have to put in that building. And then we're going to come in here and say uh, flour mill because we need three of these, which isn't a whole lot, honestly. But I don't want them on this main road. I want them off of a secondary road. So I want to see where that secondary road needs to go by placing one of them and then doing this. So we can just throw that in like that, connect that guy like that. I do have this currently as a one way. Though, man, I just don't know that I really need it anymore. I I did that because we just had so many trucks getting in each other's way. I'm going to convert it back. And if I have to, we can always upgrade this to a really thin um, four lane road. But I really don't want... The, the flower to have to go way up, down, and around, and back in just to get to, you know, like, here, I think? Yeah. I mean, that's where it gets stored. So, we now want to take this dude and just spin him around facing this direction. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of them in over here as well. And there, that's nice. And in the middle. And bam, 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 they deliver right there. So, they can come out right there and then right back. Uh, so then we need um, some milking sheds and uh, a couple cattle sheds or milking parlor. We need one milking parlor, which is that. We're not going to do any slaughterhouses, though, now that I say that, how much does one slaughterhouse produce? It produces 4.8 units of animal products. What if we did just have, like, a bunch of those and just, like, a couple of pastures? Let's see. 
I mean, they're more expensive to run, but I think they would look better over here and closer to the industry. Yeah, they do. They look much better. So I may want to bring this road. Uh, if I do like three of these, can I fit three in here? I totally can. Uh, so I may want to adjust this road, actually. And have it go this way with these guys. In fact, let's, since this isn't going to be as close, we can go ahead and connect. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move this up. And we'll just have a little dead space there. It'll be okay. Some dead space is all right. So we'll put those guys there. Then we'll spin. Oh, but these are really close to the intersection, though. So maybe we move them a little further in. Because you don't really want these guys being right by the intersection. Can you? Fine. Just do whatever. Um, and then move this dude in. Okay, we're going to have to move him multiple times for some reason. I don't really understand why. So put you there. Four away should be fine. You already are four away. And then can I get this one in as well? It wants to. There we go. Cool. So yes, you guys do need water. I am aware of that. Well, bam, well, bam, well, bam. You have water. And the only other thing we need over here are just a couple small animal pastures and a couple of cattle sheds, um, which... We're going to do another set of roads. So we're going to do, let's see, those are that big. Our cattle shed is almost the same length. So we can bring ourselves, <coughs> excuse me, another road right here. Not quite there. So there, nope, right. I would like it to be right against it, though. Yeah, I would like it to be right against it that and then we can do move that and then switch him back to the other side cool and then let's see if we can get all of this right here our two animal pastures we don't need anarchy anymore for this little guy and then one more cattle shed right there cool and then animal products are getting stored right there it's a little bit of a trek but not too bad and then we just want some crop fields uh, honestly, just to kind of finish this out. We're going to do a couple small ones for our producers. Uh, I want six small. So let's again make them on their own road here. Um, I don't know why I'm putting them all in. And I also don't know why they're as greenhouses. Though, that kind of fits this whole industrial looking area. We might leave them as greenhouses. Then I want um, two large crop fields, which they are these dudes. Uh, whoops. There we go. What I'm hoping is that this is almost the same. So we want a couple of those, and then we want a few small fruit fields as well. So I think this is going to be just about everything we need for this area. So we bring that across, bring that across. And we can do that there. And then we should have room now for our road. Whoops. Uh, this one. No, this one. There we go. And now we can see where I really want this road. We want it right there. Where, of course, the farm building's in the way. Uh, you can kind of come chill over here now, honestly. Since we've got that extra space, you can just go live there. And now you don't have to bitch about not having water. How happy for you. Uh, so. Let's kill these dudes. Back off. Oops. And then put them in facing the right direction. So, small crop field. We want, how many did I say? Six. One, two, three. Perfect. Four away from each corner. And then our large crop field, we want uh, two, I think. Yeah, two. So I want two of these bad boys here. And now the thing is, I also want just for some variety, some small fruit fields. I'm wondering if maybe we don't put a road going right here for them. I think I can get all six of them right there. 
If not, we will investigate an alternate plan. So, small fruit fields. Uh, nope, on, on that road. Great. Oh, uh, you don't want to. Okay. One, two, three, four. We can only get four. Okay, fine. Uh, that, that, that's okay. That's all right. What we can do is kill that, kill that. How can I get this to where I know that it's the road's in the right spot? Because that would put the road here. But we're over two, so if we go one, two, this should be where I need the road. Did that make sense? I hope so. And then now I can run the road through there and hopefully, excuse me, get my fruit fields in here a little better. And now we can actually space them out a little bit and not that far. I don't know why I'm doing fruit fields versus anything else. There's no real reason. Two and three. Cool. So that gives us our six. I do like the greenhouse look. It's kind of cool. Um, and it does make it feel a lot more industrial. Since we are in an industrial area, I think that's a good thing. So water and water. Cool. And then what we'll do is bring this road. Whoops. Build that. Bring that road straight out. Are you not straight right there? Yeah, you are. And then we'll kill this and then rebuild it in one long shot because reasons. Is someone losing a lot of money? Probably because this farm's costing us a lot. Uh, and not producing a lot yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the problem. But that's okay. So this little farm, not it's not little, honestly, will now produce enough stuff to supply all of the buildings. What do you mean you don't have enough buyers? Look, there's a place for you to send your stuff right there. And then they'll take care of distribution. Why, why aren't you sending your trucks out? Dude, all you have to do is take them there and then this guy will export them. What is your problem? See, that shouldn't be happening. That should be just fine. I don't want to put another cargo thing down here. Also added in just some park off stuff, some more emergency management, a second disaster response unit. Uh, a couple road maintenance depots and some taxi stands over here just to kind of fill it in. We're making a lot of money off taxis, surprisingly. Like, I think it's subsidizing the rest of our mass transit. Because you know, the only things that are profitable, profitable are subways and buses. Everything else is just losing tons and tons of money. Uh, though we are finally starting to earn a little bit more on the uh, cruise lines. Why are you, why are you having that problem? Like seriously, just send the truck out, dude. He's not sending any trucks. What is your major malfunction, my friend? Are you not aware that you're connected to a road? Yeah, because see, it keeps saying freight trucks in use, one, and then goes right back to zero. Did I accidentally make this a one-way road? No. Did I do something weird with the intersection that is... You know, I did do... Yeah, 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 okay. All right. I had done some protected turn lanes, so we need to get rid of those. I think that was all of them. All right, now, yeah, see, we've got trucks pouring out of this area now. There we go. That's what it was. They couldn't find a route to get to here for some reason. Though, why they couldn't just go down, turn around, and then come back? Oh, because they can only go straight again. So they can never get out. So we are going to have a temporary bit of traffic problems right there. Uh, I'm not going to do anything about it. Because I think it will be temporary. So the only thing about this is, what do I want to paint it? Concrete or dirt? Because over here, you know, we did a lot of dirt for the quarry industry. Um, 
and everywhere else we've done concrete. I gotta do that real quick so I can move to another window. I couldn't can't quite see my uh, timer for how we're doing on the time of the video. There we go. Hopefully that didn't mess up the recording too bad. Uh, I doubt that it did. So yeah, this is going to be a bit of a cluster for just a little while. Okay, so with this in, um, what I want to have down here are just a couple of fishing uh, industry buildings, which you don't need a zone for. Uh, so what do we have? We have anchovies primarily with a little bit of salmon up that way and over here. I don't know that that's worth sending a boat all the way over there and up there and back. Seems like that would be really unprofitable. So I think we just do salmon boats. Lots of salmon boats. Anchovy salmon fishing harbor. Cool. So how much do these cost? 144 per week versus 80 per week. You have six freight trucks. You have 10. So this might be a little bit better. Yeah, this would be better. So right about there and right about there for those two dudes. And then we will draw them in a route which shouldn't need to go too terribly far since this whole thing is just salmon. So they should probably be able to get away with something like this and then back in. And then this dude can loop up like this, come out this way, back around, and in. And then they'll have water and power here in just a minute. They'll quit complaining. Uh, first, I want to use touch this mod uh, and touch those roads and stop touching me uh, and then do that and then come in here with this and kind of find a nice way to get those two connected and then bring this straight down and then make a turn here to go that way. Now it looks kind of funky, but you know what? It works. And then this, I just want it to kind of follow up to. Ooh, I really like that to connect there. Can I get away with it if I anarchy it? Yeah. It'll be fine. Um, so cool. That gets that in. And then for the fishing industry, we're just going to throw in a fish factory. Like right here. And so you can just literally come out of here, go in there, deliver their fish. Uh, and that will get that taken care of. Yeah, I know you don't have enough fish. That's because you're not making fish yet. We're not catching fish yet. Making fish. We're just going to make fish. There, cool. And then what we might be able to do is maybe over... Man, I really don't want to go on this side. Um, I'd kind of like to be able to throw in some of the seaweed farms. Because that will send their yields to the fish factory as well. Uh, the algae farm. Eh. Farms suffer from local water pollution industry. We do have a farm very nearby. Yeah, I don't think we need it. Uh, and then we can just do a fish farm, which, you know, just grows and gathers. Um, we could honestly probably fit it in here somewhere. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. What are you complaining about? Low fish route. You know what? Let's see how low. Uh, excuse me? You're not catching salmon? And Did I look at this wrong? Like, did I? Why are you not showing me the right color fish? You're just showing me water pollution. I want to know about fish. I want to know about the fishies. Anchovies. Can you not catch anchovies? I built salmon. Good reason why they can't catch it. Uh, how did I do that? Anchovies. I guess I was looking at the colors wrong. 
All right, fine. Anchovies. Uh, shellfish. Salmon. Anchovy. All right, so we got to fix the roads back. These roads. Put these guys back. Um, so fine. Anchovy. can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Uh, try to get it to kind of connect there. Let's just leave this thing. Mistakes were made. It happens. Do that. And then uh, make sure we get the right one this time. Anchovy. Anchovy, anchovy. Yeah. Actually, I kind of hate anchovies. Uh, I mean, not them as a species, just them as a food. Uh, you're going to have to move down some. Too salty. I like fish, but not anchovies. There you go. You look nice there. You can do something like that. And then you should be able to go up there with anarchy. Yeah. All right. So now we just need to put this back in. So again, we go out that way, around that way, that way, that way. I think that'll be sufficient, honestly. We're going to follow one of the boats here in just a minute and see. That should get it done, though. As soon as one of these dudes sends a boat out, we're going to just follow it. There we go. There's one for you. So we need to follow you and see how quickly you get to 100%. Sadly, we can't really speed the game up. But that means I can take a drink of water real quick. Oh, yeah, they're already at, like... 15% and that's all the farther they've got on the route. I think we're going to be fine. Kind of curious about the whole issue down here of them not getting enough ore. They should be. Unless ore is getting shipped out raw before it has a chance to go here. That could be happening. They might be shipping ore out. Which if they are, whatever. It'll work itself out in the end. So then, are you gonna you gonna make your way back around? Fifty-two percent, about halfway done. How's this guy doing? Fifty-three percent, and about half his route. So I think we're fine. I think as long as we get like hundred percent before they get back. But you also don't want them cruising empty with hundred percent for very long. You want them to kind of hit hundred percent as they're coming into the dock. Which, that's right there. We're only at 75%. Well, this is going to be close. Might need to make it a little bit bigger. 80. Oh, this is going to be very close. So, he's going to go back in at... 97, 98, 99... Oh my gosh, uh, that's perfect. That's perfect. He literally hits the harbor at 100%. So uh, I can live with that. This one might not quite get to 100% though. Because he doesn't have very long to go. And that's... Well, we'll see. We'll see. 94, 95, 6, 7, 98, 99. Never mind. Oh, those are both. Actually, he wound up cruising for a minute. So they'll get some fish here in a minute. Uh, it'll happen. It, it, it'll get there. Uh, and then, yeah, matter of fact, there we go. He's got his fish. And then all we need over here is one more small warehouse somewhere. Uh, we just throw it in, like, on the back side of this farm. And maybe we'll do a couple of them. Uh, and what we're going to do is set these just for commercial zone goods. And that will take care of that because that's what he makes our commercial zones goods. Plus any other random industry that we wind up building. I am still considering doing some industry over here. Just generic industry. Because we are still importing a few goods. Though nowhere near what we were doing. Like we're doing a lot better in that regard. And in turn it's helped our traffic out quite a bit real quick let's go zoom back over here to where we had that train traffic jam god where was that uh here 
And yeah, it's clearing up as things are balancing out and the game kind of finds an equilibrium. We built a huge amount of industry in a very short amount of time. So it did upset the, the import balance for a little while. But yeah, I'm just kind of stumped as to why we've got so many of these guys not getting ore. We are making more than enough ore. Um, so I'm not really sure what's happening there, but we'll investigate that. But that'll be another time. So until then, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.